have to say, there is no way that I'm standing here as the MP of Toronto Centre without all of you. It just would not have happened. It wouldn't have. So there are many of you, we've spent some time together and I've been able to say thank you personally, but it's so good to see you as a group and you can never say thank you enough. And so I'm saying it again. I have to uh, call out a couple of people. Um, Inez and Saraya. Oh gosh. I'm trying not to get emotional. I love you two so much. The heart that you have for this community is beyond. You inspire me. So thank you. You do. You, I've already, you know, felt this way, but you remind me each and every day the responsibility that I have. I want to do so much for our communities and you are at the heart of that because I see what you're doing and I see your heart every day and I see how you stand up for community and you do and I just appreciate you so, so much. So thank you. Karam, where did he, there you are. Yeah, you're there. You've always been there. That's the thing you have, Karam. No, always have my back. Karam told the story. Karam and his team, you guys, you're, like you're amazing. You said to me so many times, time and time again, we have your back, don't worry. We're putting the signs out. We're talking to people. We've got you. This community, don't worry. How many times did you say, don't worry about us? Don't worry about us. Worry about the other people. Yes. Um, love you, really do. Thank you, I will never take you for granted. We have you, we, we really do, we have you, and we're going to work hard. And I know that there's so many issues, housing at, at the top, and just affordability, and all of the things that you talked to us about when we knocked on the doors and we had meetings, and I'm here to tell you that I'm here to work for you. It is about service. Karam mentioned that I used to be a reporter. I was a journalist for many, many years. And the reason I left is because I wanted to serve differently. I always thought that I was serving with my microphone and I was reporting in a way that was maybe helping people, but I really wanted to help. And I wanted to do it in the place that I was born, in the place that I went to school, in the place that gave my parents a chance. When Michael talked about Pierre Trudeau opening the doors for people of color to come to this country, my parents were two of those people. And they were here and they had dreams for my sister and for me and our family, and we're here because of that. So for it to be able to go full circle like this, and to be able to represent and serve the community that opened its doors to my family is, is just the honor of my life. So again, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Last but not least, Bapi, where are you? Come on up, come. I have a quick story, quick, quick. I won't be long. Okay, so Bapi, I'm so happy to see you. We haven't seen each other for a long time. He was in New York. Um, Bapi, has been through so much, and even so, has, has been beside me. And when I say beside me, not physically, but it was, you know, texting. Um, Bapi, and you won't mind, uh, most people here know that you lost your mom. Yeah. So Bapi lost his mom, as you know. And I called, he was in New York, and I got to speak to his mom, and she was so proud of you, Bapi. She was so proud, and just thank her for all of the work that her son did with me and with our team, I thanked her. And then um, she passed away and I phoned Bapi to make sure that he was okay and he wasn't. Uh, but even so, he said, don't worry, I can't be with you in Toronto Centre, but I'm still making phone calls. I said, Bapi, you don't need to be thinking about me right now. You need to be thinking about your family. But I wanna publicly thank you because I know you put so much work in, even though you, know, you had so much going on in your life, you still cared about me and you cared about our team. And I love you so much for that. So thank you, thank you.